hello everyone i hope you are doing great so today i am going to talk about natural product extraction basically how can you get your natural products or different compounds from the plant leaves or plant um, the skin or the natural source so this is very simple method but you need to know so let's take an example uh, as a plant leaves so suppose you have the leaves uh, of your interest plant so that may be the medicinally important so mm, people do extraction those leaves <clears throat> to get the natural products how you can do so these are leaves plant leaves can be first dry under sun or in a like appropriate condition So once it is dry, then crush it, crush to the powder, like not powder, but break these leaves, like dry leaves. So um, we can say crush the leaves. <clears throat> to like a smaller part of those dried leaves then transfer those leaves in a big alumer flask then you can wash it with the hexen first you can wash it with the hexen why hexen because hex is hexen is the non-polar solvent and in the leaves or the part of the tree or plants um, always contain lipid and greasy material so those are like mostly dissolved in non-polar solvent or hexane so that will separate your greasy or lipid type or phospholipid or lipid type compound with the hexane so then filter it then you will get hexane as a liquid part where it can take out lipid and fat lipid means fatty fat and well so ultimately fat plus well those can come with hexane so you will have remaining the leaves in as a solid in a filter paper so take this uh, in another alumer flask now now you can add dichloromethane ch2cl2 dichloromethane and keep it oh here i didn't say things so once you add the hexane Keep it at least six to seven hours then do the filtration similarly add the uh, dichloromethane in it and again keep it six to seven hours or to get good <clears throat> result maybe you can keep it at least 12 hours um, then filter it again so once you filter it so dichloromethane CH2Cl2 dichloromethane part as a liquid liquid part and you will have solid that dried leaves 
leaves part so now <clears throat> most of the organic compound um, which are like moderate polar will dissolve or come out with this DCM part so you can now remove the DCM by rotoweb so use rotoweb to remove DCM get a crude and here that crude can be <clears throat> dried completely uh, by <clears throat> freezing vacuum freezing vacuum technique or alcohol bath technique to remove the DCM completely so keep that crude suppose this is crude A and this remaining part that solid leaves after DCM so now take these to another alumina flask and at the end now add methanol add methanol and leave it for at least 12 hours then filter it so methanol liquid part and the solid residue part so this solid residue residue part you can treat with a uh, different solvent but mostly whatever the compound you had in the leaves it should already come out with the DCM part which should be in the crude A and next is the methanol liquid part so now remove the methanol by rotobab using rotobab so and then uh, again the uh, freeze vacuum technique then you will get another crude that can be like crude b so basically you can now use crude a and crude b to purify your compound so you can check the tlc tlc will show many things uh, especially suppose if you take the crude a and if you run the tlc so if you're lucky enough so you might see a uh, couple of spots but most of the case in um, in the natural product case if you run the TLC and then you may see like there are lots of uh, spots coming or like make sure that when you do the TLC try to take very little amount in a small test tube dilute it and then they spot it otherwise you might see like a, as a tailing and you may not see any difference here so to avoid the tailing may make sure that you make this solution very dilute so then the round the tail see so most of the case <clears throat> you'll see many of the spots and in many cases you may see like this kind of spot like a small a small or many things mostly the terpenoid type compound also come out with the tcm part too so like this but so in that case based on that uh, you can decide like which are the major um, spot you are going to collect do not throw out anything even that is small <clears throat> amount that could be also a potentially potent uh, biological potent compound 
So try to collect all those spots, even if those spots are very close by. So in that case, you can also purify those compound by different techniques. Those are, um, there is a video in my channel that is called uh, purification ninja technique so you can watch that video then you will see like how to do that especially in that ninja technique I said like first try to fractionate with the primary column like uh, cap collecting those couple of his couple of spots and then do the another column to separate the those compound so this is the methanol uh, DCM part say so you can do the same thing the methanol part also and uh, run the TLC. So methanol part definitely those whatever the compound come in this could be methanol by methanol extraction. Those must be very polar compound. So in that case, when you spot your crude and your mobile phase in the TLC should be um, that should be like methanol DCM. So you can uh, add like. Uh, <clears throat> 90 into 10 DCM methanol so that could move so do not normally people doesn't uh, want to increase more than 10 percent but sometimes you can also use 15 percent methanol that's fine but that will give you the kind of pattern so run the tails a couple of times if the compound doesn't move or slowly move so run the same plate couple of times in that combination but in the this mixture like crude a mixture like from the dcm part so your tlc can be run in like a different combination of hexane and ethyl acetate so you can add hexane ethyl acetate so maybe you can try with 95 is to 5 then 90 is to 10 then 85 is to 15 then 80 is to 20 then like different combination maybe you can try 70 30 uh, 60 40 and then 50 50 so if it doesn't move then try 80 uh, <clears throat> not 80 sorry so in that case try uh, 30 70 more ethyl acetate and then maybe 20 80 and then 100 uh, 0 100 percent ethyl acetate and even if it doesn't move then you can use like the same combination that dcm methanol but in that case finally dcm methanol and you can start with 98 to 90 Five, five and then 90 10 something like this you can increase and in, you can check which you which one is creating um, moving the compound so once you fractionate first column you can do the fractionation like if you have many things together so uh, like um, very close so try to do the fractionation so um, by flash column if you don't know what is flash column you can see one of my video in my channel like quick vacuum flash column so that will help you how to fraction it quickly of your crude so you can make some um, you can make some fractions from those and then uh, you can do the separation if you have the uh, preparative lcms uh, sorry lc or SPLC then you can uh, purify those compound by using uh, by choosing the uh, appropriate solvent or you can do regular column to separate those compound and also most of the cases you can also try the recrystallization technique so recrystallization always give you uh, sometimes uh, give you a very nice crystal uh, like if it is mostly the pure then you can identify your compound by pro first 1d proton nmr and carbon nmr and then 2d proton nmr and carbon like DEPT 135 and also like 
cozy, nosy, and HMBC, HSQC. So if you don't know those things, please uh, watch my recent videos on like those 2D NMRs and the proton and carbon NMR and how to solve the structure. Also my previous NMRs related with the previous video related with all kinds of NMRs. So you can get idea um, in, in this case, like from, for this natural product uh, uh, separation, uh, before doing separation, you can also try the dosi D O E D O S Y dosi NMR. So there is a video on dosi NMR in my channel, so you can watch that video too to get an idea. So I think this um, thing will help you to understand how to do the extraction of natural products. So first uh, take the uh, three leaves or like three um, uh, skin and then dry it under sun or appropriate condition and then crush the leaves or the skins um, uh, in a certain small small um, uh, pieces and then first wash with the hexane to remove the lipid or fatty type compound and don't throw that part you can also do analyze take them take the mass also like if you have the maldi or like lcms or mass system see what are the things there mostly the lipid or fat type fat fatty well things will go with the hexane but this part is important the uh, remaining residue then that take the remaining residue in another aluminum flask add the dcm use 12 to 6 to 12 hours and then separate the dcm part and the solid residue part the dcm part remove the dcm with the roto web and make the crude and dry with the freeze vacuum techniques um, uh, or alcohol bath technique then you will get the crude <clears throat> that crude first check with the um, tlc and also you can check ms or lcms to get some idea and also you can check the dosi because dosi will give you a how many types of compound may be present there and then based on the TLC and those pattern you can design how to separate those compound by using a regular column in regular column you can use mobile phase as a hex and ethyl acetate and different condition or if it is not moving then you can try DCM methanol in different a different combination on the other hand that remaining after the dcm part the remaining solid you can take it another aluminum flask add the methanol sit uh, keep it for 12 hours and then filter it and solid residue part mostly the compound will come out in the methanol and the dcm part so that methanol liquid part remove the methanol with the road uh, using rotobab and then use also the freeze vacuum pump and then get the crude b and do the same technique for the crude a whatever you have done crude a and by this way you can get the compound most most likely you will come up with mixtures but many of many most of the time people can isolate or crystallize out like purify with the column those compounds like natural products important compounds and determine the structure by using the 1d and 2d nmrs do, um, like dept 135 cozy nosy hmbc hsqc and also finally dosi nmr so i hope you like this video if you like it just give a thumb um and uh, uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and um stay fine thank you bye now